Hi friend, this is Aman. Today I'll show you how to create directory in Windows System Programming. So I'm using here Visual Studio 2012 ID. You can use any one ID if you have like a 5, 8, 10, 14, 15 also. So let's start our first program. How to create directory in Windows System Programming. So go to File, New select project select win32 console application and name your project so sample directory this is the name of my project and always click this checkbox create directory for solution it will create a folder for your project ok next empty project click on empty project and do finish so we have successfully created our project so go to source file right click on that add new item click here cpp file and name this file main and add it so here we are doing the windows system programming so the system related a specific header file we have to use here so i'll use here windows dot h windows dot h header file and i u stream for cpp function so using name space std and int main Turn zero and system pause. This function will hold your screen on con. So how to create directory? So I'll take here the MSDN website for reference. So this is the first create directory function. Uh, in this website, we can get lot of more information this is the online SDK and the create directory function says that create a new directory and this is the syntax of that function it will take the two argument first one is the path name second one is the security attribute and this LP path name is a variable and the data type of this variable is LPCT str means long pointer to constant string and this in tells about the this is the input parameter the second argument says that this is the security attribute that the type of this variable is LP security underscore attribute and this is the in opt means this is the input parameter which is optional so if you see here this is the explanation of the argument if you see here the security attribute if the security attribute is null the directory gets a default security descriptor so we'll use null and see the return value the return value of that function is function succeed the return value is non-zero if the function fails the return value is zero and we can get the uh, error information with the help of get last error function and we can get two possible error if function goes So I am using here one bool data type one variable b directory create 
directory it will take two parameters so path name so exactly where you want to create your directory so this is the sample directory this is our project so here in that folder I want to create the and say that dir this dir1 is the directory name and second argument is null so it will take the default security attribute and check for that function so I'm checking for a negative condition So we have to, if this function fails, then we have to specify some error with the help of guest last error function and uh, I'm just copy and pasting this uh, line here to tell that failed and error number like that if this function succeed then we have to print here some message create directory success and remove that line get last error function and just build our project so see here we have successfully built our uh, project so go to debug and start debugging see here create directory success go to that directory directory one dir1 is the directory name of uh, our directory so we have successfully created our directory here so how to remove directory see I'll use here second uh, API function remove directory function this is the syntax of that function uh, it, said th it says that delete an existing empty directory return type of that function is bool and it will take one argument path name so b directory remove directory and specify your path here again so just copy and pasting here control V okay and just copy this line so just build our solution So see here, successfully uh, compiled, go to debug, before uh, running this project, I will use here get care function, to see, see, so yes, So now you see here create directory failed and error number 183 we are getting here. So go to tools suppose if you want to get more information so go to error lookup type here 183 lookup so it says that cannot create a file when that file already exists so close that remove our directory first from and go to debug again and start debugging so create directory success if you see that 
uh, here so directive one has already created and see the remove directory success so that was the first uh, program how to create directory and remove directory in windows system programming so i hope you like this video just do hit and subscribe my channel thank you